Okay, um... That the uh, objective remains the same, I think, not just for the United States and France, but for most of the members of the Council, which is not to get ourselves into a situation where we fall back into the status quo ante. And the, uh, the, the disagreements, the areas of, uh, of uncertainty, uh, are things that we're working very hard on, and I don't think uh, purpose would be served by exposing all of them in public. Okay, thank, thank you very much. I've had some meetings with members of the group. I think there's a sense of awakening and realism in there. However, I must say that I'm very skeptical about the ability of the Lebanese uh, forces to carry out this task. Lebanon was besieged and demanded of the Security Council and the international community for months, for years, for six years at least, and ever since Resolution 1559 in particular, for the last two years to do it. They claimed they couldn't, they claimed they were too weak. If they couldn't do it when they had the power and authority, to expect them to do it today when they don't have that, either the power or the authority, and with Hezbollah having become what it is, seems to me very, very uh, difficult and very presumptuous. Can you think of what is your bottom line? What kind of Timing that you managed to stall a resolution that uh, would. Uh, we are trying to bring together the views, not to, to uh, and to bridge gaps, uh, in order for us to be able to get the resolution adopted. Uh, and we'll, we'll continue our work today and perhaps tomorrow too. Thank you.